To get started in iMovie, go to the Jones Media Center Quick Reference Tutorials page, go to our Project Management handout, and then use this handout to learn how to make an iMovie library. Open up iMovie. Create new, movie, and then choose the library that you already made. Click Import Media, find your green screen footage, and import it. Then we're going to go to Backgrounds. We're going to find a white or a black background, and we're going to drag it to our timeline. We're going to go back to My Media, drag the green screen footage right on top, then we're going to use the slider so that we can see the end of our green screen footage and we are going to hover our mouse over the end of the background until we see the double sided arrow and then we are going to drag it out until it's the same length. Now you're going to double click on the green screen footage to get these options up here. You're going to click from cutaway to green slash blue screen and you'll see that the green screen has disappeared. Now, once you're done with this, go to File, Share, File, give your movie a name, click Next. You can choose where to save it. I'll save mine to Desktop. And then you're going to go back to your projects and start a new project. Import Media, find the video that we just made and then use the command key to grab any other graphs, maps, etc. that you want to include. Import selected. Now drag your green screen video down to the timeline as well as what you want to place on top of it. And now I'll show you how to do picture in picture. So you'll see that it defaults to Ken Burns and it goes to cutaway footage. So double click on the video or the image that you are using First things first, make it go to fit unless you want the Ken Burns effect. Hit the blue check to save your changes. Double click again to get that option back for cutaway. Change it to picture in picture and now you'll see you can adjust the size using the blue dots and you can also click and drag the image wherever you'd like. 